Experts, sponsored by St. Elizabeth Healthcare. There may soon be a new way to predict recovery time, actually, from sports concussions. Medical reporter Liz Bonas talked to sports medicine experts about it today. She joins us now with how it might help reduce the risk of long-term complications. Liz. Hey, guys. Good afternoon. The sports medicine experts at St. Elizabeth Healthcare say if an athlete returns to the field too soon after a concussion, the risk for injury can have both immediate and long-term uh, complications. So today we stopped out at the Sports Medicine Center in Mount Zion there to have them tell us a little bit more about a newer test in the works that may put more science behind recovery time. When an athlete takes a hit on the field, a concussion or blow to the brain really shows up in what's called metabolic changes that happen in the brain cells um, after trauma. The problem is that right now there's not an accurate way to measure those changes. Dr. Mike Miller is a sports medicine specialist who says balance tests such as these or even standard imaging tests of the brain still leave experts with the problem of making sure that we don't send people back too early. All that could soon change, however, thanks to researchers with the National Institutes of Health. They recently looked at what's called the tau protein in athletes. When there's trauma to the brain, um, it releases um, these substances. Usually they're a protein and it gets into the spinal fluid and then some of that will leak into the bloodstream. They followed these athletes then throughout the entire athletic season and compared those who did have a concussion to those who did not. They found this marker to be predictive in both male and female athletes. They found athletes that needed more than 10 days of recovery time after a concussion before returning to play had higher levels of this tau protein, which means, Dr. Miller says, If we can uh, measure these biomarkers in the blood following uh, mild traumatic head injury, then it might help with severity, it might help us follow the progression, or might help us um, with our return to play guidelines. Boy, that's important stuff. It is likely still going to be a while before this test would become mainstream, but it is a good first step. As always, we invite your questions for providers at St. Elizabeth Healthcare at local12.com. All right, that's good. It's really important. Yeah. I mean, to have a measurement that you could go in and it would say it's not low enough yet yeah. to get you back on the field would take away what he says where you go, well, you look okay, yeah. you know, oh. which is just dangerous. We've come a long way yeah. already on that's this. Excellent. We are working on this, yeah. yeah should be. Uh, this is just another one to confirm that uh, pretty soon, and we won't see the injuries we see now in long-term athletes with Parkinson's and things if yeah. we do this the yeah. way it works. Yeah. All right, we are back at 6 o'clock. Talk to you about it.